If I was stranded on a deserted island, what makeup items could I not live without? So when we have about five minutes that we need to pull ourselves together and get out the door, we might use the same kind of items that uh, if we were stranded on a deserted island, these were the things that we absolutely need to be able to pull ourselves together. So I am going to start with the most important one, and that is our sunscreen. And what I love, this is the Australian Gold Tinted Sunscreen, and I love this stuff. I've tried several different sunscreens, and I always seem to come back to this one. It's lightweight and almost has like a moussey feel to it, and so it really does sink into your skin quickly as well as it doesn't leave me with a uh, real greasy shiny finish it's very matte on the most part so I really really like this one and I don't experience any dryness or anything from it so I start off with this one and it's tinted well enough so that I feel like I don't really need any foundation with it so this is going to act as as multiple duty in that it's my uh, sunscreen, moisturizer, um, foundation, and concealer. Now, another thing I just want to remind you is that in, in lieu of sunscreen, some people um, have foundations that have, you know, some protection in those as well. And that's great. But just remember that it's dose specific. So, generally rule of thumb is that you need about a fourth to a half of a teaspoon of um, product in order to get that sun protection. So if you are using a makeup, make sure that you're using that much of makeup or use a sunscreen and then use that and you're kind of, you know, doubling up, which isn't a bad thing either. So I think I was able to strip down to the Bare Essentials, which includes six different items. Now, with these items, I'm also including the tools. So I'm, I'm, you know, pairing back on my tools as well. Now, in order to apply color to my face and a little bit of, you know, definition and contouring, I'm going to be using the Physician Formula Butter Bronzer, which is the sculpting bronzer. And I, this again is acting as multiple duty. It's going to be my bronzer, contour, blush, eyeshadow. So let me show you how I'm gonna use that. Now I'm gonna use the same brush as I use for the face for my eyes and just kind of sweep the contour over the, the whole area. Trying to focus it basically on my uh, crease, you know, my, the crease, and that way it's getting both on my uh, lids as well as my, uh, you know, up here. And then I'm going to go ahead and start as usual uh, where I apply my bronzer and blush and all that. And I'm just kind of blending it a little bit wider uh, than, than maybe normal because I'm not adding the blush onto there. And then just sweep it around here, up on my forehead. I have a feeling this is going to be a really short video. Now the next tool I'm going to use is my flat, um, flat brush. And this I'm going in with the bronzer again. And I'm just going to kind of fill in my eyebrows. Add a little bit of of definition there we go all right and then after doing the eyebrows I'm gonna go ahead and just line a little bit 
under the eyes for some definition. And now what I'm gonna do is take my mascara and not only add to my lashes, but also tightline with the mascara. As close to that, um, the roots of the lashes as possible. And what this is doing is making your eyelashes really, really thick looking without adding too much mascara. And then you just run it through. There you go. Now the final touch is just taking a uh, lip balm and moisturizing your lips. Now, I am on the lookout for a good lip balm that includes SPF. Um, I'm really trying to be a little bit more deliberate and intentional with not only my skincare, but also my makeup. And lip balm kind of acts as both. You know, I use it all the time. And, and I want to find one that I would actually apply during the day that offers sun protection because I think just like around your eyes, you know, your lips, your ears, certain things just tend to always get missed. And we do put products onto our lips, but we need to, just like with everything else, start thinking about sun protection. So if anybody knows any good, uh, good lip balms or anything like that, please let me know. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you like this kind of content, and I hope you have a great day.